Ooh, you're kind of bored. You want to have some good snacks? You want to know how to make this? I'll tell you. Stay tuned. Time for a quarantine snack. Today I'm going to teach you how to make polo. This is a Ghanaian dish. It's super easy to make and you probably have all these things at home. So I have everything that you need down in the description bar below. So make sure you go there just to double check because in these clips over here, I did actually not add the one cup of milk that I ended up adding as well. Um, so yeah, we've got some flour, we've got some desiccated coconut, okay, we've got some egg that accidentally has some flour in there that was not meant to happen, but we're just gonna scramble it up so that you don't notice. <laughs> and I look like a perfect food blogger, vlogger person. But anyways, moving swiftly along, this is some custard powder, and that makes it really, it just gives it a nice texture, it just makes it really, really lovely. Then you have a little bit of sugar over here, like I said, everything will be in the description bar below, description box below, whatever you call that thing. And this is the nutmeg, this is freshly grinded nutmeg, it's gonna make it super fragrant and just make it smell delicious. So yeah, this is pretty much all you need, plus the cup of milk, plus some salt. Now. You're gonna mix everything together. The order actually does not matter. Now remember, if you do not have custard, you just use flour only. Now the exact description of what to use is down in the description box below, so really do check that out. Now also, if you want the dough to be softer and you just want these biscuits in general to be softer and not have too much of a jaw-breaking, tooth-breaking crunch to them, you can actually add a cup of oil now if you do this option you actually have to reduce the amount of milk that you use so all that information is down in the description box below as well and bam that is the dough that's what it looks like so make sure your work surface is looking very well prepared i've got a knife i've got a fork and i've got some flour which i'm dusting on the work surface like so asmr in three two one but before we get into all that make sure you hit bump stop as on to that subscribe button comment like and hit that Notification bell while she had it. Alrighty, so now you see the consistency of the dough. So this is not like a bread dough or anything like that. It's really quite stiff and not very sticky or anything like that. That's exactly what you want. So you just kind of roll that out with your hands or with a dough pin or whatever that thing is called. And then you just start cutting it. And usually people cut it into squares like so, like a pizza and then they become really crunchy obviously because you've given it some corners and yeah they become really really nice and you just poke some holes in there with a fork but actually you can do whatever design you want obviously but yeah i like the i like the triangles sizes and shapes and yeah i like them big and some small so i did a mixture of both like sometimes you have a few big ones and then you don't need any more and sometimes you eat a lot of small ones but anyway you fry them deep fry them and they turn out like this but obviously you can also put them in the oven so yeah remember that so the oven is the much much more healthier option than this but yeah this also does work obviously and let me tell you these things are delicious but i do have a warning make sure you don't just bite into them with your front teeth like this is a molar situation like them teeth at the back need to be put to work for this one because they are really hard not in the beginning but after a while after about 20 minutes or so they become so so hard so be careful <laughs> if you want to see more of my shenanigans follow me on ig it's time for life now because it is 